little puncture. I think it's sealing. Let's hope it doesn't. I've heard a lot about the rock formations, uh, stories about uh, how much it looks like in the Western movies. And it has been in my bucket list for a while. I mean, uh, I grew up in Spain and I've never been there. It's like a semi-desertic area in the southeast of Navarra, bordering with Aragon. It's all gravel. Super rough, very dusty. Uh, everything takes you by surprise. It's very loud, and uh, you, you are. It's like a sensorial overload. It gets really hot in the summer, there's no shade. When I stopped to get water at the last town before I got into the park, in a supermarket, a small supermarket, uh, they were about to close for lunch uh, and siesta. Uh, it is there, it's like a four hour midday break. Uh, and they were like, sit under a tree till six and take a nap, you know, take a siesta. It's muy peligroso. It's very dangerous, they say. You know, there is no shade in Las Bardenas. Uh, I'm from the north, we don't do siesta. It's green there. I enjoy getting out of my comfort zone sometimes. Not all the time, but uh, it was the 13th day of my trip. So I had 2,500 plus kilometers in my legs. Honestly, I expected more heat. Yeah, I expected more heat. I wanted to, I wanted to dig deep and uh, I had all this water and I was mentally ready to suffer. Basically, I had been following waterways all over France, you know, canyons and such. Uh, water everywhere, very, very lush vegetation, small roads, old tarmac. 
So to do Las Bardenas on the last day was like putting a very contrasted cherry on top of the cake. It was uh, super nice. My do everything bike is a bespoke titanium frame. I used 32 millimeter tubeless tires, 211 mechanical hydraulic disc brakes, uh, Japanese components, the ones you find everywhere. You know, 1132 cassette, nothing special. I have a friend that always says that bad decisions make good stories. And riding Las Bardenas at siesta time, well, it's a good story. I don't know if it's a bad decision, but it was definitely cool. I'll do it again.